Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Continuing on from my last video, M5 Stack UI Flow and Cubitro IoT platform getting started, nobody busted me over the fact that I didn't do anything with the LoRa modules. So now I need to complete my project by implementing LoRa communication between two M5 Stack Core IoT units and transmit that data over the LoRa 868 modules to the Cubitro portal. I have one core unit configured as a transmitter with the GPS and environment sensors attached. Now, I really tried to do the transmitter in UI Flow. I need to get GPS coordinates in decimal degree format. I also really want GPS altitude data, but there's no block for GPS altitude in UI Flow. I did manage to get UI Flow to format the GPS data in decimal degree format, but when I tried using either of the LoRa send methods, I kept getting program errors when trying to send the data over LoRa. I resorted to using my old Arduino code from a long time ago. I start by updating the code to use all the LoRa parameters. I learned a lot of new things doing this project. The rest of the transmitter code simply assembles a string of comma separated values and it transmits this to the receiver, my custom LoRa gateway for Cubitro running on the other core unit. On the receiver side, UIFlow works out to be the perfect choice. First, I'm connecting to Wi-Fi, then I match the LoRa parameters that I set up in the transmitter sketch. I add this receive callback enabled block to set this up to receive. Next, I fill out the MQTT details for Cubitro. This LoRa receive callback block contains all the action. It's event driven, waiting to receive a LoRa packet from the transmitter. When that packet is received, it's assigned to a variable. Remember, the packet is just a string of comma separated text with all the GPS and environment data. So I use this list block to break that string into a list. Now I parse this list assigning variables for each item in the list. It's interesting when parsing the item from the list I have to use either convert to string or convert to float. I need the pressure and temperature variables to be float so I can calculate the altitude based on these. We will have both the GPS altitude and the calculated altitude for comparison. Now let's display the data on the core unit screen. And this is followed by publishing the data using MQTT to the Cubitro portal. This is in JSON format using this dumps to JSON block that contains this create map block that's built up of key value pairs. Thinking back on everything I did here, it's very specific to this project, the hardware and data involved. I want to revisit the gateway code and make it more generalized. The LoRa packet could simply contain key pair values separated by commas and the gateway could simply break this down and repackage it to send to Cubitro. Okay, we've covered the hardware and software involved now let's configure the portal. Make sure to watch my previous video to see how to create a project, add a device, analyze the data with charts, and a dashboard. I'm keenly interested in the map widget for my Cubitro dashboard. I want to see how that works. Select the widget. We're going to give it a title, map. Now you've got to select the project, the device, and here's where we pick the map widget. Click continue. Now here you want to select your data sources. Latitude is lat. Longitude is lawn in the data. Now we're going to set the zoom factor here. You get a little preview of the zoom factor when you look up here. I want somewhere between 15 to uh, 20. That 10 zoom is zoomed pretty far out there. 18, 19, these look a little close. We'll see what happens. Yeah, 20's right up there. 
I'll go with 18. All right, there's my map. I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out. And you see, because I already have GPS data, it's showing us where we're at. I'm at the park with the laptop, a Wi-Fi hotspot, the M5 stack transmitter with the sensors, and the M5 stack LoRa gateway. I'll take a little stroll around the park. I did see one or two instances where the GPS data got corrupted for some reason. Maybe I walked behind a big tree, perhaps. Other than that, we can see this map widget on the Cubitrol portal is very useful. The pin follows me on the map as I walk around the park. In the device analysis, I've made these two charts. I grouped the pressure and altitude data on one chart, and in the other chart, I grouped temperature and humidity. The range of numbers between these two sets makes it difficult to look at all of these parameters in a single chart. This view is better. Another cool feature on the Cubitrol portal is the ability to export the data you have collected. You can download it in the form of a JSON file. I did a quick Bing search and found this online JSON to CSV converter. Paste or upload your JSON data at the top and you can download the CSV below. Here you see a couple of instances of bad GPS data. I have to think about how to trap bad data before sending it. Here I've cleaned the CSV file up a bit and plugged it into gpsvisualizer.com. Yeah, I did quite a bit of walking around just to make this video, and it's all recorded in the Cubitrol portal. This was a fun experience for me. I learned a lot of new things. Cubitrol really made this project easy to connect and visualize the data. Check out Cubitrol for yourself. Look for the links down below to get the code. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below on what you would do to improve on this. And before you go on to watch more of my IoT videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.